My name is Matt Spa, and it's a beautiful Saturday morning in Rome, Georgia. Last night, I shot night one of the 2024 Pro Rodeo Rome, and I woke up and I thought, you know, what the world needs now is another tripod review video. There's a lot of activity out here this morning, so I'm gonna to try to keep this brief and stay on topic despite all these wonderful distractions, and let's just, let's get to it. Everybody knows how much I love the Manfrotto 055 tripod. I have used at least one on every single commercial shoot I've ever done, but I've never shot a rodeo with one. It's just not the right tool for the job. When you need to move around and get really low, a tripod with a center column is problematic and the weight eventually becomes an issue. So for the last year or so, I've been using the NRL LT324C. I wanted something with a bowl for quick leveling, and I wanted something that was lightweight, but also heavy duty enough to take some abuse. And of course, I didn't want to pay a bunch of money for it. And this thing really fit the bill. The NRL LT324C at the time of making this video will set you back around $250, which for some is not cheap, but in the world of tripods, especially carbon fiber ones, it's a pretty good deal. Each of the carbon fiber legs has a padded grip at the top that does not feel like it's gonna tear up within a year and leave bits of itself all over your studio or truck. I've been using mine for close to a year now in harsh situations and the padding is still in great shape. Each leg has four sections, uh, the largest of which is 1.26 inches in diameter, which is pretty stout. And up top, there are three positive stops to set the legs at different angles. The section leg locks are plastic, but I like them, even though I can never seem to figure out which way to turn them. The feet are rounded rubber and they screw into the bottom of each leg. The tripod ships with um, a set of those like stainless steel spikes that you can use to replace these feet in situations where you need more grip. I have found that the legs deploy easily as long as you keep everything clean, which for me sometimes can be a bit of a challenge. The bowl is 75 millimeters and it allows for 20 degrees of travel, which seems like a lot. I think 15 degrees is more the standard for these. The bowl section is made of black anodized aluminum and it has a pair of quarter 20 inserts and one 3 8 inch threaded insert. And it's got a spirit level built right into the top so you can see if you're level or not. Max payload is 66 pounds or 30 kilograms. Max height is 57 inches or 146 centimeters. But collapsed, it's just 21.3 inches, a mere 54 centimeters. And it weighs 3.9 pounds, 1.75 kilograms. And you can buy it with or without the bowl. If you already have a head with a bowl adapter, you can save around 20 bucks on the whole thing. The bowl adjustment handle is vertical and it provides good grip, but not as much torque as a knob would in that position. In use, I find it really easy to deploy and it goes really low. The bowl is just a little over three inches off the ground with the legs fully extended. And it's stout, but it's not huge. In these situations, lots of times people like to come get near the panel. So I don't have a whole lot of room to work. So just the size of this, but the stability and how stout it is works really well. Moving from location to location is straightforward because of the lightweight and having that bowl to get things level really quickly, just it makes, it, it makes all the difference to me. I really only have three issues with this tripod and they aren't so much issues as they are just things that I wish were maybe a little different. I wish these leg adjustment stops were spring loaded. You know, it's they're not. You have to set this, you have to manually do it. I've become accustomed to this on my Manfrotto tripods and it's just really nice to know when you hear that click that you're locked in. On the LT324C, you have to manually push the leg stops into place. And I have on more than one occasion thought I had pushed the lock all the way in when I had not. And I was made to look a fool in front of my cowboy pals. And that's definitely not cool. 
Second, I don't love the tightening handle on the bowl assembly. It's vertical, like I mentioned, which it works, but it means you get less torque than a knob would provide in this same position. And depending on the height of the tripod, that angle where your hand is when you're tightening it down can be awkward. I mean, it's a, it's a small thing. The knob adjustment would just be more secure and more convenient, really, in my opinion. But this handle works perfectly fine. I've never had it come loose. It absolutely does the job. Lastly, the bowl assembly is not super duper smooth. Um, it functions as it should. It's shaped properly. The machining is good. It's not out of round or anything, but it's not a polished surface. If I were using this primarily in clean locations, I would likely put some kind of lubricant on it and it would be perfect. But given the dirt and the dust that I use this around, which, you know, that, that might actually be the problem. It's probably just the, all the dirt and dust that's keeping this from being, let's just say that I only have two, only have two issues. The NRL LT324C comes with a two year warranty and a really nice bag that's big enough to accommodate a fluid head, even my big 502 heads. It comes with the BL75N adapter that goes underneath, two adjusting tools, and those stainless steel spikes that I mentioned earlier. One thing I really like about this tripod, and I'm, I'm kind of wearing this out at this point, are just, it's the dimensions. That one and a quarter inch upper leg section diameter, it seems kind of big, but I like it. I just, I really, I like the proportions of this. And through at least a dozen multi-day rodeos and way many more than that commercial jobs, it served me really well. On commercial jobs, I actually use this to hold my slider. Um, not having to use a fluid head or anything keeps the uh, center of gravity lower. And it's just, it's, it works really well for that. I know I opened this by talking about the 055, and I don't really mean to compare these two because they're different tools for different jobs. I will say that if you need to get low and maintain a range of movement and you don't need the functionality of a center column, this is a good alternative to the 055. And in my case, an inexpensive addition to my ever-growing tripod collection. If you have any questions or comments about the NRL LT324C or the Manfrotto 055 for that matter, please post them below. I look forward to your feedback and that does it for this one. I thank you so much for watching.